Hey, what's up? If you're watching this video, perhaps it's time for you to work towards your goals during quarantine, to hustle. Now that we have the time, why not start? So why is it that we put off our goals in the first place? Is it because we're afraid of failure? Is it because we're afraid of not having the outcome we want? Is it because we're afraid of what other people might think? Here's the thing, with everything going on lately, the pandemic, why not take this opportunity to let fear drive us towards a goal instead? Now is the time to truly reflect on what resonates with you, on what you want to accomplish. To do what you can while in quarantine, because I know you're gonna have to be a little bit more creative than usual. You're gonna think outside the box because we may not have all the means and resources. I made this video to share with you eight hustle steps that's helping me currently move towards my goals. So number one, Ask yourself, what resonates with you? What do you feel pulled towards? So if I ask you, what's the one thing that you would love to achieve or work towards, but you haven't done? That one thing, that first thing that comes to your mind, that's the one. Okay, step number two. Once you have that thing, that goal that you know you wanna do, then it's about asking yourself, why? Why is this a goal that you want to achieve? And then focus on that being what drives you forward, what becomes your inspiration daily. Number three, ask yourself, what do you need to learn to get to your goal? What would make it easier? Whether it's reading a book about strategies on how to coach, or whether it's uh, learning how to edit videos, uh, learning how to uh, grow your blog, whatever it is, you're homeschooled right now. so. Every day, just set a schedule so that you can grow, you can grow your skill, and then it will help you move towards your goal more efficiently. Number four, break it down. When we see there's so much to do, we get really like, oh my God, how am I gonna do all that? So break it down in baby steps. Maybe not baby steps, but small steps. And then um, schedule it. Schedule it on a week to do basis. Number five, okay, set a deadline. So this will be your blueprint of when you want to get shit done. The thing is when we don't set a deadline, it doesn't feel real. Set a deadline, write it down on your calendar, uh, put it up on your wall, whatever it is, just so that you know that this is what you're working towards. Of course, you can't always be productive on schedule. You don't want to force creativity either. Number six, do the actual hustle. So yes, we're going to have to do the work. Can't just dream about it. Can't just plan it. You're going to actually have to take action. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be right. You just have to like every day set an intention that you're going to work towards it in some way, even if it's just thinking about it or like watching something. So yes, it's gonna be hard to be consistent in moments and with everything going on, you're gonna, you're, there's gonna be days that you feel discouraged, that you're not inspired. And then remember that your energy is everything and you wanna be in good energy. Even listening to a podcast, that for me that always helps. It's, it's, it like inspires me to take action. And also you can call up your soul tribe, people that understand you, people that understand your vision, who support you. And then it'll be like an exchange of energy. So obviously we can't be in physical contact with them, but you can always, you know, virtually be there for each other. What I'm saying is that put in the work, okay? Inspire yourself to put in the work. And if one day you don't feel it, take a break. And if you need that inspiration, you're just being like self-sabotaging and you're procrastinating because you want it to be perfect, well, focus on your why. Number seven, be open and flexible in the process. The thing is we have all these plans in our head of how we want things to be, how we want the outcome to be, when we want it to happen, how we want it to happen. But I think you've already noticed that every time you do set a plan, things kind of change. They take a turn for the better. Sometimes it goes, it leads you to another door. Sometimes it leads you to another idea. Sometimes we make plans and guess what? The universe has an even bigger plan for you. So just be open as you hustle towards your goal. Last but not least as a hustle tip slash step, once you've done the work, you let go and you trust. You trust that it will happen in divine timing in the way that it's meant to happen. Who knows how long we'll be in quarantine, but at least you're putting the legwork towards your goal with what you can do in this period. 
you'd be surprised of what you can accomplish. So yeah, let me know if this works for you. And if it does, please leave a comment, share your feedback. Uh, I'm on it too, so we're in it together. In the description box, I'm gonna include the eight steps. So at the end of the day, tell yourself, even if you don't achieve this goal the way you imagined it, working towards your goal itself is an achievement itself. Through the steps that you're gonna take, inevitably you're gonna grow, you're gonna learn something new, you're gonna be exposed to new material, um, you're gonna put yourself in a situation that makes you potentially uncomfortable or makes you face your fear or makes you think outside the box. So no matter what, there will still be progress. Let's hustle, let's put in the work, I'm on it with you. Happy hustle during the quarantine, guys.